Today, a video about properties. Python, as part of the building functions, comes with the property decorator. And it allows us to control attributes. So the simplest use case of a property is a read-only attribute. So here we set an internal, and I have to say that in quotes, internal, which I will explain in a bit, voltage attribute. And by defining a property, uh, we set this voltage attribute, which cannot be overwritten. So, so let's just copy this from the documentation and play a little bit with it. So I can make a parrot P and I can access the property like this, but I cannot overwrite it because I get an at attribute error, can set attribute voltage. Um, when I set internal in air quotes, uh, that's because I can still overwrite the underlying value. And then effectively the property will display that value, right? So, and that's where you sometimes hear we're all consenting adults in the context of Python. And that usually refers to the fact that in Python, there are not really private class members. Even if you would define a double underscore attribute, you can still access that. Not like this though, but you can still get to the actual attribute by using underscore class double underscore attribute. And you can override it as well. So unlike Java, where you have getters and setters, nothing is really internal. But properties have a second feature. So when I have a property defined like here, I can define a setter. And for that, let's actually look at a more interesting example. So I brought in a ninja class. It's from one of, one of our tips. Uh, it's in, initialized with an internal score of zero and it has a property uh, score without the underscore. So if we run this, we can make a ninja. We can access the score, but we cannot overwrite the score. Of course, we can overwrite the internal score. And again, Python would not stop you from doing it, but as a Python programmer, you will always follow the convention to not overwrite internal attribute. So assuming then that we only going to touch the public one or the non underscore one, say I will only want to accept scores that are positive and not negative. Well, we can use a setter. And how that works is that we define a new decorator with the name of the property, use the dot setter. The method name can be the same. The only change in the signature is that I accept the new value. Do some checks. And end up setting the internal score variable with the new value. So if I don't do any checks, this will just now work for anything we set, right? So. That's fine, that's fine too. Say I want to add some constraints, then a negative score should not be accepted. Well, then we can add two lines of code saying if new value, assuming it's an integer for now, is less than zero, raise a value error, score cannot be negative. So basically, if the new value is negative, it won't be possible to set this attribute. If it's positive, it will fall through and it will effectively set the internal score attribute. So let's try that again. Again, the read only works. It's by default zero. I can set it to 10. Then n score becomes 10. 
But if I then try to set it to a negative value, boom, I get a value error. The score does not get overwritten, so it remains the old score of 10. So yeah, again, note of warning, everything in Python can be overwritten, but as good Python programmers, when we see underscore, we respect that it's internal and we're not supposed to touch it. Then you can make a read-only attribute using a property that by default cannot be overwritten. But if we want to actually control how that attribute is set, we can define a setter and add some constraints or checks and then assign a new value to the internal score attribute. So that's a way how we can have greater control of how we set our attribute. Hope this is helpful. See you in the next video.